Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to my advanced swamp house tutorial. This build is pretty easy to do, honestly. I show you guys how to build the exterior, interior, and the underground little portion here. So we have a bed, crafting table, furnaces, chests, everything you need to live. And then down here we have even more furnaces, some more chest storage, a brewing area with some nether wart growing. Looks pretty nice. And then you have a full enchantment table in here. So yeah, let's get to the tutorial. All right, so for your swamp house tutorial, you're gonna need the materials found on my hot bar below. Hot bar below, I can't talk. Anyways, summer's out for me, so, uh, well, school's out for me, so summer it is, and we're gonna have a lot of videos out, a lot of tutorials. Anyways, this is the first of them, this is a swamp house tutorial, so basically what you're gonna need is the materials found on my hot bar below, I think I already said that, and you're gonna start off by placing one, and that's gonna be the corners, so you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just make it a square, so it should be a six by seven little area right here. You're gonna build these up three higher than they are right now. And then in between that, you're gonna do a pattern like this. On, just on this side, on the other side, uh, we're just gonna do it like that. And uh, these are not gonna be brought up very much, they're only gonna be brought up two, as opposed to the other ones, which are gonna be brought up three. And then on the inside here, you wanna place a spruce wood log that's facing inside like that. And then you wanna put two little things of glass on top of that and do the same right here and then on the inside we're gonna do a stone brick sort of a stone brick I don't really know how to describe it but it's gonna be a stone brick checkerboard with cobblestone again I'm uh, struggling for words here and I'm not really sure why but uh, one of these sides you're gonna need to choose why is there a okay one of these sides you're gonna need to choose for the entrance of the build and I'm gonna choose this one right here so you're gonna place some uh, well first let me fish fix that uh, this is going to be the entrance, so just pick one of these sides, and the other one you're going to just fill it in like normal. So this is the checkerboard, and then on the uh, opposite, you want to just fill it in with cobblestone. Someone is out my outside of my house mowing. I think it's my father. So sorry about the little noise you're hearing. A little dark, dark, <laughs> deep hum. I don't really know how to describe it. So that's going to be the inside of the build. On top of these right here, you're going to put some stone brick slabs like that, and then you're going to just connect them right there. And uh, that's going to give a really cool effect for the outside. It's like a, it's like a depressed window, not depressed in the m in terms of like depression, but like a like you know the mental health thing. Depression. It's like depressed as in, it goes inside. Uh, words are not my forte. Anyways, so we're gonna take these stone brick slabs and then we're going to bring them up one higher right here, and one higher right here, and then the next one over we're gonna do. Oh, next one over we're gonna do the same thing. So one higher. And then one over and one higher. And then we're gonna do the same oh we're gonna do the same thing. I just have to break that one. Right, well, I have, what wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 what am I doing? Anyways, we're gonna basically go up a half block height each time for the roof. And I'm about to sneeze. I'm about to sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. Maybe? Maybe. Anyways, uh bring these up one more higher. And then place a stone brick slab on top of that too. And then we're going to take some fences. Oh, oh all right, let's see. Proactive. I already had the fences. And we're going to build them out like this. And then on top of these, we're going to put some torches. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but I found in this build, this looked pretty interesting. I just done goofed. I pressed uh, the wrong button. Anyways, now on top of these fences, we are going to place some torches. I'm going to do a time set zero right now so that it does not become dark for you guys. Actually, I learned that time set 2000 works a lot better because that's like the... Yep, yeah, there we go. Torches on top of here. By the way, if you're wondering what shader pack, this is BSL version 5. Uh, version 5. Yeah, just version 5. And I think it looks super nice. Anyways, you're probably wondering, Neo, what are you doing, mate? And I'm like, I don't know. Anyways, so on this side, you're going to build these up. Oh, well, those are already built up too. Then you're going to build them up three. And three. And then on top of here, we're going to take some cobblestone. Oh, some cobblestone slabs. Make sure they're not the monster brick type because if they're monster brick then and that's actually <laughs> I'm struggling so bad that's not what you do you bring this one down and then you connect it like that good lord I'm so sorry guys whoop whoop I hear someone coming anyway so uh, on the underside of these of course since it's that sort of uh, door shape I did before you just do upside down stairs right here and right here and then you take the cobblestone slabs and you come over and make a shape like this, so it just gives a little bit of a, I don't really know, a faux roof thing. A faux roof. That's a funny word, faux. It's like faux, P, uh, F-A-U-X, faux. 
Uh, why it's spelled like that, not really sure. You just place some cobblestone stairs on top of there to sort of connect it so it's not an, not a hole open to the world. And then right here, oh, right here you grab your fence, you build those down. Nice little entrance way to your house, pretty dark, but you could, you know, work some torches in there or something. Not really sure what you want to do, but from the outside the build is complete. Um, well, it's not... I, <laughs> I keep lying, from the outside the build isn't complete, since this building area isn't the biggest, because I'm not on my flat world, uh, I'm just sort of doing some biome houses right now. By the way, if you guys have any uh, ideas for tutorials or things you guys want to see, go ahead and leave a comment right now, because without you guys, I'm not going to be able to do this uh, four to five, maybe three videos a week uh, sort of thing, so make sure you post some ideas in the comment section below, and uh, we'll see about building those. On the corners here, you place some grass. And uh, you can build this wherever in the swamp. I mean, heck, you don't even have to do it in the swamp. You could swap out the materials, anything you don't like, and you could do it wherever. But uh, in my opinion, it looks best in the swamp. So we're going to take a cobblestone slab. We're going to grab a trap door here. Just replace the glass. We're not going to need any more of that. And then go ahead and just do that on all four corners. So slab, trap, trap. <laughs> Sounds like a song. Slab, trap, trap. <laughs> I don't think that's a song. But it could be. Always could be. Alright, so now we're going to choose a bunch of flowers. I'm going to do a blue orchid, a thing. Oh, we're going to need a total of eight flowers. So let's just go ahead and grab everything so that I don't... Oh, okay. I'm just throw. I like that flower. That's eight. Alright, so we'll do uh, an azure blue it and an orange tulip, a pink tulip, a blue orchid, a, one of these, one of these, and then a red poppy, and a pink one. So now we're nice and notorious. That's not a word. I was going to say naturist, but that's not a word either. Uh, place some slabs down here like this, not slabs. Oh, oh, why am I using the wrong words? Place trap doors down here like this, and you're going to have a cool effect like that. So the outside of the house is complete, so now we're going to go on the inside. I'm going to grab all those materials, and we're going to come right back. First things first, I sort of missed something. So on top of these little glass pillars, break those slabs, and then place the solid stone brick block. And then from the inside, you can't even tell there's a difference. Anyways, I'm going to get back to getting the interior materials, and I'm going to come right back. Now, I don't think I'm missing anything for the inside, but I might, so please forgive me. So uh, I'm going to try something right here. We're going to place some stairs, and we're going to do them upside down like that. We're going to come outside and make sure everything still looks... Yep. Everything still looks A1, like the car wash in Breaking Bad. Anyways, so right here, I figure, let's do some chest storage. Make sure all the top chests open. Indeed they do. Perfecto. Uh, we're going to take some stairs that are cobblestone, and we're going to bring those down right here and right here. Do the same on this side. And we're just trying to make the inside of the build look as snazzy and as clean as we can get it. Uh, let's grab some torches here so we can have some lighting. And let's just go ahead and place those right there and there. There and there. And then you could do two. Well... Uh, you can just do two right there, and everything should be nice. Uh, right here is where I think we should do the bed, and then we should do maybe a bookcase right there. On top of it, let's do a pot, and let's go ahead and put an Azure Blue it inside of that. And uh, let's grab another pot, and then in the corner, we're going to do the Blue Orchid, because it's not a Neo build without the Blue Orchid. Um, oh, 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 that's right, there's a torch there. So, sorry about the mower outside, guys. I can't really make that go away. That'd be kind of rude of me. Hey, can you stop mowing the lawn? Just let it let it look bad. Uh, place a painting that's just going to be one. And I think we should do it against the other wall. I think that'll look better. All right, perfect. So we have the blue orchid. We have the bed. We should put a crafting table down. Uh, we can do some furnaces in this wall. I think everything would look nice. And really, if you wanted to, you could put the uh, solid block above that too. But I don't really see the point in doing that. Over here, we can just set a torch down on top of that. So since this is the advanced swamp house, we are not even close to being done what are you guys thinking? Anyways, so let's go ahead and get to the underground portion. Dun dun dun! If I remember right, there's a there's a thing down here, so it sort of already helped us drill this out. But basically, we're just gonna dig this down with the uh, spruce wood, and then we're gonna grab a trap door. We're gonna make sure that it, ooh, let's just grab a trap door from out here. We're gonna grab a trap door. We're gonna make sure it's nice and flush, and we can go ahead and just bring this down too. Why not make it look uh, congruent with the rest of the build? Now let's grab some ladders. And then let's bring these down and make sure when you're bringing them down they're not on the same size same side as the hinge that way you can come up here jump and then you're up so uh, yeah so basically for this underground area you're gonna want to drill it out uh, I guess three high so this is already sort of helping us and you can do the same thing I'm just gonna do a co solid cobblestone floor for down here and you want to just make it the same size as the uh, uh, up here so this is like one well, this is one two three four 
uh, four long. Uh, so one, two, three, four. This is gonna be one wall right here. And then you're gonna wanna drill it out. And let's grab some torches here real quick. And boom. So if you really need help doing this, and I'm gonna need help doing this too, we're gonna go ahead and drill these blocks down too. That way we can just sort of see where to, oh, oh man. I'll fix that in a minute. Uh, we're just gonna drill these down so that I can just sort of define the corners here. I'll just break the crafting bench for a second and just define the corners. That just sort of helps me as a builder, even though, you know, I've been building for quite a while. It's just, you know, sometimes it can be difficult to do stuff like that. I'm going to fix all these little errors and I'm going to come right back. And there we go. Everything is nice and fixed up here. Ooh, that's pretty pretty. Uh, let's set it back and let's go down here and let's finish this. So uh, since we're going to do a cobblestone floor, basically you just want to fill in the floor with cobblestone. Uh, that was sort of a no-brainer thing to say, but... Uh, goes without saying that sometimes people can get confused. That is definitely always a possibility. No one is perfect and confusion does occur in the human brain. Anyways, let's just drill this area out and we you can do really whatever sort of wall you want. I think personally, I'm just going to go ahead and do an entire log wall. I wouldn't recommend you do this because it's going to be a lot of resources on your part. But if you have the resources available and at hand, why not do it? But uh, in my opinion, you could just use spruce wood planks and it'd look the same, but I'm just going to use the logs because I think that's going to look nice for this uh, swamp underground, you know, you know. Uh, just drilling all this out and filling in the wall. Let me light this up like as much as possible so you guys can see everything that I'm doing. And just filling all this in with the logs. Do, 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 oh, messed that up. And there we go. Oh. There we go. Everything being filled in with the logs. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is cobblestone down here too. So basically in this underground area, you can do whatever you want. doesn't really matter. You could take this area out, fill this in, Ooh, fill this in with some cobblestones. Uh, then, well, actually what would be best would be fill this in with the furnaces. Then make this a little divider right here. And then right here have some... Uh, Right here, have some chest storage, like this. Ooh. And then on top of that, you could take some trap, well, actually on top of that, you could take some stairs that are cobblestone. You could put those right here, and then you could take some trap doors and make it look nice and fancy by basically just doing that and that. That makes it look nice. Over here in the corner, we could take a cauldron and we could fill it up with some water. And this isn't gonna be completely useless, but this is mainly aesthetic right here. We're gonna take a lever or a lever. I call it a lever, but I said lever just to please some people. Uh, let's go ahead and just take these torches out for now and let's put in some real lighting. So uh, you're probably gonna need lighting. So we'll put a torch right there, torch right there. Uh, it's a basement, so it doesn't have to be super lit, but if you want it to be lit, it can be lit. And I'm, say I'm saying lit in the way of, <laughs> oh, this is lit, dude, anyways. Let's go ahead and just fill in this spruce area right here with glowstone. If you don't have glowstone available, just ignore me. Don't do it. Uh, put some trapdoors above here. I think you guys have a... If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know exactly what I'm about to do. Uh, you're going to need to bring this uh, back one. We are going to do... Dun, dun, dun. An illegal netherwart farm. That's right. It's not really illegal. I just call it that because I think it's funny. Looks kind of like some sort of illicit drug. Uh, maybe a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but maybe maybe in someone's eyes then we're gonna do some nether wart right there But you're like Neo. Why are you doing that? You don't got a brewing stand. Well, let me tell you something. I've got a brewing stand uh, Well, I have a brewing stand Now two of them actually perfect and then uh, you could put another chest or something in there But I think we should just do a full enchanting table. I mean why not? You know, I mean if it's gonna be a full build might as well be a full build so let's go ahead and just break that in and then put the door. Let's take one of these stairs. Let's do that like that. And then, you know, pretty much it's already lit in here. I keep saying lit, but you know, like people say, man, this is so lit now. So it feels like I'm saying the other meaning of the word lit, which is kind of funny in a way. But in another way, it's not funny at all. It's just immature because I'm a teenager, oh, whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and just break out the area around this enchanting table. And uh, we can just fill it in with glowstone. <laughs> That's not glowstone. I, I knew what I was going to say before I said it, and I still said it. You can put glowstone under that block since it's not a full block, and it will light up the area around it. Then on the inside of here, uh, you are going to have to fill in this with uh, this top area. 
with uh, cobblestone. Jeez, I can't talk. Then we're going to take our slabs of cobblestone and we're going to fill in the roof. So this isn't a completely three high area, but it's sort of a almost a compressed enchanting table. You want to drill out this entire area here. This is where the bookcases are going to go. Let's go ahead and type in the word book or scroll over with your control stick or with your finger and put all these books in here. And now you have a full enchanting table. Let's do another wooden axe. Make sure it's all good. Wooden axe. Boom. Open it up. 30 levels. Efficiency 4. That's completely useless. Just makes your wooden axe go away quicker. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like. Let's try to get 1,000 likes on this video. Can we get 1,000 likes? I don't know. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. Not really sure. But if we could, that would be completely awesome. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you want to see more tutorials, leave some comments below. Tell me what you guys want to see me build, and I will be sure to try and build it. So yeah, I'm really going to need your help with that. I'm going to really need some ideas this summer. So please leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see specifically in what biome, maybe a certain type of thing. Try to look through my videos, see what I've already done. Try not to say things I've already done, but if you do, it's okay. I'm a pretty nice guy. I'm not going to be mean or anything, but anyways, if you're new to this channel and you'd like to see more videos, more tutorials like this and more, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You'll get notified when I upload. You'll be one of the first to see the Neo Cubist tutorials. Again, thousand likes. That'd be awesome. Link to my Twitter's in the description below. If you guys want to send me pictures of this build or any of my builds, you can follow me on there. I don't really tweet, but if I ever do have a really important, important, important announcement, I will definitely uh, be on there to tell you guys. So Twitter's a good place to follow me and stuff. It's interesting, the fog is inside the house too, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, all the cool stuff, uh, the music and uh, shader pack are all down there too, links in the description, gosh, I keep talking and rambling, I'm sorry guys, but I'm a YouTuber, and uh, my goal is to grow this channel as much as I can, so when I ask you to subscribe, if you don't like my content, leave a dislike, tell me why in the comment section so I can improve it to your liking, and uh, if you like it and you want to see more, you just click that subscribe button, it's as simple as that, it takes like one second, makes my day and if you leave a like it also makes my day so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you with the next tutorial make sure to leave ideas in the comment section below i'm done now i promise bye